What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode. Today I'm going to be showing you guys five of my favorite walleye soft plastics. Now, as we get into this, you'll see a lot of these are smaller baits. You can upsize with any of these. However, what I find is that most of the fish I'm catching on soft plastics for walleye are going to be walleye typically your like 12 inches all the way up to your 18, maybe 20 inches. We're not really getting those giant fish on plastic so this is more of a technique for getting your eaters and that's why kind of the ones you're seeing here are a lot more smaller profiles that i use for jigging and stuff so let's get right into it but before we do hit subscribe below if you want to see more videos like this Alright, so one of the most beginner soft plastics for walleyes is also the most affordable, which is really nice, and that's going to be a standard twister tail. You can get these like anywhere, it's just a small little curly tail grub type bait, and I use like a 3 inch size. The cool thing about these is they're dirt cheap, so you can get a ton of different colors and really stock up your tackle box for whatever you need. The ones I have here are the big bite baits ones, they're also a really affordable one, and they do last quite some time after catching multiple fish on them. The next one that we have is going to be a kind of similar bait. Uh, this is going to be another ribbon style tail bait, but this is a little bit longer one. This is going to be some type of ringworm, or in this one, it's going to be the Authentics Moxie. As you can see here, it's basically a ringworm style bait, just like a twister tail, but a little bit longer profile on the body and also has the ribs in there, which are gonna create a little bit more action to it. And the nice thing about the Moxie is it has a little bit longer and thinner tail, so it's gonna have more of an action at even a slow pace, which is really nice if you're like jigging them in current or something, as well as you can cast them really easy. Now this one is the one that I used in that video where we caught that big sturgeon. But the cool thing about the Authentics ones is they also offer many different colors that you can't find in regular twister tails, like this one here with a ton of flake in it. The next one's gonna be some type of swim bait. This is gonna be a paddle tail swim bait, and there's many different brands of these. You can get like Kytec brands, which are very expensive, or basically any other brand that makes a generic version of it. This one happens to be the Bass Pro Shop Tournament Speed Shad, and this is the three inch size. As you can see here, it's just a typical paddle tail swim bait. And this is really nice. Throw it on the back of like a quarter ounce jig or whatever you need to get down. And you can jig this with a little bit different action than any typical jigging bait. Or you can also cast and reel it on bottom and stuff. It's really nice profile. It's also kind of a more natural bait. You can get it in really good colors. As well as some colors with sparkle and stuff in them to attract the fish. And the other thing that I like to do with these sometimes is take the back of the tail here and just take a spike it marker or JJ's Magic, dip it in there and get a little chartreuse on the end and that creates a little bit extra flash to it. Now the next one's going to be some type of natural looking worm. This one happens to be the Baitmate uh, fish attractant one. This is going to be a natural like three and a half inch night crawler. I know that Cream also makes a really nice natural looking one and so does the Northland Impulse. So that's a nice little one. You can throw that on the back of the jig but the also other good thing about these is you can throw it on a worm harness or something if you want a multi-purpose bait. And if it's a little bit too long for you at that like three and a half inch, you can make it a little bit smaller to work perfect on the back of a jig. Now the final one is going to be the one that I use the most. And this is what I catch a ton of fish on because it's a really natural profile in the water. And that's gonna be a standard little minnow bait that I like to jig with. You can use basically a fluke or anything. This one happens to be the power bait minnow which is a really nice jigging bait. You throw that on the back of like an eighth ounce jig, vertical jig it, they come in different sizes and stuff. The one I use here is the emerald shiner color, which is a nice little color with some flash, but still a really natural profile. Just jig that, or you can hop it along in the bottom of the water, and that's a really nice way to catch fish. So those are five of my favorite walleye soft plastics. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a thumbs up below, as well as subscribe while you're down there. We'll see you guys on the next episode.